for battle. Cause that would be so <laughs> sick. Like they like it's just default. DK's just got him. Are you down? No. <laughs> no, dude, <laughs> come on. Happen. At least the chain. The chain's sick. He <laughs> looks like a guy who wears a chain. Like I, I don't remember if this was always that logo, but it was like back in the D1 Hustlers day, and it was when Theban played with them, and he played like position four. Yeah, yeah. I think that's where it comes from. I, that's pretty sick. Yeah, dude. They and then they DK. like, they just like talked crap on Lukey Lukey after they beat him in that matchup. <laughs> Do you remember that thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. What a time. Well, I tried it starts in NA, don't end. It ends here. It was, it was a fun time. I, I mean, that technically also means that D2 Hustler is NA, right? <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, obviously. So many NA players on this roster. All of them. Yeah, like um, um, mostly and, uh, Shad. You know what? It's mostly Shad because he's from the Netherlands, and their flag is also the red and white and blue. Ooh, this guy gets it. Yeah, so that, that makes the most sense. Seb? Ragi trying to battle begins. out to Violama. The tree is moving threateningly into his area. It's going to be three bounty runes going the way of OG. All right, good start here after losing game three of their previous series. I'm going to boot back up here with a quick couple of bounties. And uh, the Hustlers, they uh, their path was their 2-0 uh, versus the Nightshade Esports, who we were casting yesterday uh, versus Team Tickles, right? We mm -hmm. did that one there, and they, they lost that one 2 and then they unfortunately got 2 again. But uh, the Hustlers in that series, they went for both games, Primal Beast as well as the Lifestealer. So kind of this like active Primal Beast going around the map, doing stuff, getting the game moving right. here. This time, not, not quite the same. Well, we'll see. Uh, it all depends on Soiko. He'll be he'll be the one that really gets them moving. Right. You need to make those moves around the map on that invoker. You can already see down bottom though the power that you can still hold with the Weaver even in that support position. The laning stage is still hard to deal with, keeping this pressure onto this double melee lane that they're up against. Stoic also up top on the AA uh, is going to manage to find the D ward and open up that pull. See what Mag's decision making process is like for Ari. Uh, does have a blood grenade at the ready. Try and push back with Shockwave and everything else. But Whisper playing very far forward in the face of Chad on this Brickle Bristle back and already doing pretty well in the CS. He is, uh, he's the keystone to this draft, Whisper. I think that uh, they are committing to giving Legion a good time. And, uh, Did you I think don't know, it it's, it's kind of tricky to lock onto some of these heroes, uh, as well as burst some of them. Like, Center Wild Runner, probably not your dual target. But, uh, the Bristleback, a solid one, you know? Yeah, especially yeah. with how Bristle works these days. It is interesting that the idea of Legion countering Bristle doesn't necessarily apply as much anymore because you don't have to worry about facing him a certain direction. Since it's such a small right. damage reduction anyway, it's only 16%. Probably not going to level this up any further. Kiragi! Oh my god, he manages to draw first blood. Does get brought down right afterwards. And by Lama, even keeping the pressure on afterwards from Seth. So, managed to get it. Dies right after. Can they do any more in this lane? Shad in the meantime. He's sort of bullied around by Ari a bit. And actually, he's going to be able to run him down here. Whisper. Careful. We'll have an overwhelming odds to throw out. Oh, dude, it's so painful, though. Like, Dyer's you're getting these little hits into attack. it, but then he's stacking up the quills. You have to be a bit careful when you're trying to get the punish. Ooh, nice double hit there from Ari. So, uh, he has been spamming the mag, as uh, the, the chat was pointing out here. So, we'll, we'll have to take a look as to how much he's been playing it. He's played nine matches in the past eight days. Okay. It's his most played hero lately, and he's been winning. He's six and three. And he, he played one, uh, what, 17 hours ago with Yadro. Got the win. So. Nice. Yeah, probably just Oops. all Ari carrying. Uh, mostly going just Blink Aether has been the, the path for him. More damage in on the Divai Lama down bottom. Rocky trying to stand tall in the meantime ari was able to get a mag kill they kill off your with the weaver yeah so more action as both carries struggling a lot 
in this laning stage. It was a skewer back from Ari to help set that one up. I mean, that, that is one thing about the uh, support mag, is that you really need the melee heroes to abuse. And speaking of melee heroes, uh, Treant's not going to have a whole lot of fun in a matchup versus Central War Runner. Obviously, when you're trying to steal some CS there, when your core is dead. You can't Another pullback. Up top, Ari got him. Stoic has to run away, and will they oh, he, be able to run dead. him down the whole way? Yeah. yeah he, he's getting shockwaves. Da, 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 da. All right, gets the kill. Now that's, Boots gonna fly out. That's actually zoning. so much gold early for a mag, you know? Like, yeah. for, a, for a guy who's just trying to get a Blink Tiger as fast as possible out of the position four roll, you think about playing oh, Shaker in this instance and how you, there's no chance you can set up these skills like that. But yeah. he's just outskilling right now. And uh, the other good thing about position four mag is that after the Blink, you have a lot of choices. Like in his games, he has gone Aether, but he's also got four staff. He's gone Lotus when it's needed. Uh, hey, you can go Midas in these pro matches where you're... That, that's kind of been like the goal of OG. Meg is a great Midas hero. Well, definitely a lot of possibilities for him. He just needs to keep on enabling these kills. Um, and see if he can get Whisper off to a hot start too. Be the boots delivered now. Consider across the board, OG doing pretty well. I mean, of course, yeah. the big hero that's sort of been struggling a bit has been Yuragi uh, with trying to find uh, his way out of this really aggro lane, but he's still getting good CS and well, can he survive through this? He needs to get a couple more hits off, but it's not going to happen. Ari coming in a bit too late, but they now put the pullback underneath the tower. Okay, Stoic goes down, so they managed to get something out of nothing. What did you expect? Like I can't get away from this Magnus, no matter where I go. I'm just getting skewered into my death. Ari says, I'm on my way. I'm coming mid. I'm securing runes, so go top. He's got a lot of stuff. Ari is getting active. He has a yeah. courier coming out with raindrops, a, ma a, a clarity. He's got obs and sentry. And he's going to try and make a sneaky play here by the looks of it. Hoping that he would rotate Whoa. over and maybe come for Radiant that rune. Are scanning. Void Spirit, yeah, has level 6. So they scan now, recognize that he is there. Wants to pull him in and... Gets the Invis rune on top of the Ghost Walk. Meanwhile, Seb is going to try and play around a bit with Nine Class. Forces him away. Yeah, he has Medallion finished. Yeah. Very farmed on that Weaver. Or support Weaver, at least. Yeah, I mean, just hard committing right for it, you know? A golden thread. I don't know how much value he'll get out of it. Ari is in. Oh, what an angle on that Tornado. Find it. And got him caught. Skewer for the finish. Killing spree for Ari. Top lane, duel. Can they get him enough? Not quite. Has to run away. But Whisper does manage to survive after committing that one. And yeah, Ari's immediately going in to try and take the uh, wisdom runes. Now, there is also a dire scan scene that nobody is going for the other one. So we roll TP and manage to pick up the other wisdom. Ari right, yeah, got his Yapsor on right now, man. 3-0 on 1. Grabbing the last hits on a couple of these, these uh, kills. Almost seemingly like the team wants him to get them, which would make sense. You definitely need a lot of this hero. Seb going to TP up top. He's level 5 on Seb because of these deaths on Monkey King. So he's got 3 points least. Pull him back in again. Stoic going to fall. Spurt gets that kill and duel back up in 14 seconds. I, I love the way he pings. I'm going here. He's like, I am wrapping behind this tower. Surround. Chad. Chase, got him caught. EZM shows up too, immediately getting brought down. Another clutch kill as OG. They're off to a hot start here. And Ari has the confidence to just move right through here as well because this Observer Ward is still up. He is just zooming across this map. He's going to make his way through the darkness here. A, a nice wraparound. He's going to be at that bottom room very unexpectedly. EZM though getting gone on in trouble not a whole lot left in the Ari it isn't gonna be enough but Ari tries to pull it in wants to find him a couple more hits the skewer the right clicks will manage to take down one but Ari gonna be brought down after the fact oh, but it goes to the weaver I mean probably wanting that streak on strike if you could I feel like that would be a lot nicer to boost up your invoker um, here as he's struggling he's, have he's you close been getting to the crazy weaver. lag too no 
Okay, I, I was getting lag in client. I'm not getting any hearing you at all, so I think it is a Dota thing, but it seems like the players are also getting a similar situation. Oh, no. I just reconnected. Well, hopefully that'll help it for them. Bit of a pause there. EZM managed to escape. Look how farmed right. Yuragi is with three dead. Yeah. That's wild. It's kind of crazy. He's, he has been able to have a lot done for him. Divine Llama throw out the stun on Decep, trying to bait this now as teams are coming in. Or oh, are they going to get pulled? The three heroes caught with the tornado. Sakuchi connects onto two. And that, I, they don't have anything to follow anymore, this up. But the boundless strike. Wants to go for it. No, can't do it. Don't, don't get your tree cut down. Did he actually get that bounty rune before they do? He does. All right, he just goes there. Fair. Got him. Dyer's middle tower. Now, looking for more. Jumps forward. Stampede. Ari catches him mid-stampede and blows him. Now, double jump from BZM connects on to Dubai Llama. All right, OG hitting hard, taking names. And they kill off the Vi. They will have another shockwave for the pullback. And Yuragi gets a kill, gets a courier for what it's worth, too. He has been involved in nine kills on this Magnus. And he's yeah. still not level six. He's all five and a half. This will do. Radiance middle well, Arcane's done. And they have Blink Dagger now done on Whisper, too. He said. Oh, and look, face. the move in towards mid. They got it. That's this ward. They're going to get him. He's caught. Any detection? Where is it? No, you have so much gold, but no protection. <laughs> oh, and that was the blink. Invokers always get one, dude. They always get yeah. one. Jeez. That's right. gotta be frustrating. Radiance top tower yeah, especially with how top. nice the setup was with the uh, the obs in there too. So Ari's gonna pick up a dust up now. Yeah. Radiance courier has been killed. At 10 minutes, a 3,000 gold lead. OG just kind of looking at a different level right now compared to the D1, D2 hustlers. What, what D are we on? I, uh, on? Uh, D3 soon, I think. Maybe D20. Okay. So you got to roll a couple D20s here. Yeah, and then these fights go, get, uh, go a little bit better. Attack. Seb is just shutting this down, this positioning now, and uh, relatively early level six. Very hard to contest this, but a pull on the wave. But yeah, at the same time, you're on bottom. That's not where they want to be exactly. They have enough to get the kill. Stampede to run away. Oh, he could have maybe gone in for the double edge, but would have died right afterwards. And, and they had I the. Mean, uh, to be honest. Oh, yeah, you're right. Might still be in trouble. Can he block the way? Tries to get to the other side of him. Can't quite do it, though. Shockwave pulls him back in closer. Has the dust. Couple more hits is all they need. The leech seed is there. Jump forward duel. Whisper says, yes, please. I will take that one, too. Divai Llama gets caught right at the end and a killing spree for Whisper. Oh, everything is just going perfect for OG right now. The most farmed hero is Whisper. This is what they wanted. They want him to just completely run this map, and they, they want to put the fear into Shad so that he doesn't think he can just go anywhere where he wants to just farm, right? Like, uh, also, there has not been a lot of time for stacks, and if there are stacks, they're just going to take them uh, on the side yeah. of OG here. So that, that's also another really bad sign for a Bristlebacks game. Uh, great Tornado down bottom, though. I, I thought that might be enough, though, when they were able to uh, dispel the buff so that he couldn't actually just turn for the lifesteal. Right. But not able to do it. Now Stoke's going to get caught in the mid lane. Skewer is there. Ice Blast goes off, but not able to apply the damage. And did get the debuff on him. Yeah, I was thinking about baiting. a little bit of trouble. Nah, he's fine. Moving in with 9 class. They drop it down. They get him. Oh, my God. He has RP. Oh, be careful there. Weaver, you can get freaking squished like the bug you are. Whisper, come to the gate. Oh, and immediately, nope, okay, not going back. Has blink, obviously, but it's a 1600 HP center war runner. Needs a little bit of help here. Help is coming. <laughs> nope, neutral. Attack. Not going to make them all move. I thought BZM was going over that way. And I don't even know. It would be close. If, it, if you were like, oh, they will not rotate any heroes, then yeah, maybe, but not worth the risk. They have a pretty solid lead right now. 
though. They are Sad. starting to build some stacks, but it's going to be Divine Llama. To go forward. Well, the overgrowth is there, but they can't really do anything to Shad. I felt like they were testing out for a second there, just kind of seeing how much damage they can do, but it's not quite enough, like you said. Meanwhile, mid lane of Ogre's dying. Duel up top. Oh, Maybe it's enough. crumbling. Yes, it is. Dude, they force out the Stampede, and then Shad walks back in, feels comfortable, but it's just not going to happen. So stop now Whisper is going to run out Stoic. Yeah, it, it, this is completely falling apart. OG is running wild over them. This game's going to be over in like 25 minutes if they can't stop the bleeding soon. They have to try and find some way to do it. There is a time lapse here, but not where he wants to go back to. <laughs> oh, he wants to make sure he has to beat dodge him, away. He doesn't want him to Dude, beat him. Dude, they're hurting him. They're hurting him. That's All okay. Right. He's going to get out of there. He'll chill. He'll he'll bug and, and try and scoot you next wave. Get a little wild. A little, a little frisky, right? Make some crazy plays. I mean, that's what they need. They need crazy plays because it is not looking great right now for the side of the hustlers. Chad, no, no. Chad, not like this. Not like this. Ready for the jump. Finds him immediately. Divine Llama wants to turn it. It's not going to be enough. Whisper gets the dual victory. He's very low. He's going to get brought down, but Ari's still nearby. Kind of in no man's land. Does not have RP already. They got to fight this. Then Yuragi is there. The jump comes out. Finds himself a couple. Oh, no. He got his tree cut down. Nonetheless, Ari... Won't be able to chase this any further, it doesn't look like. Although maybe wait a minute, he goes forward! Oh, Weaver got a little bit too aggressive. Yeah, it feels like you have to try and find something there. I, I understand the idea. Uh, they got a big streak though onto Divide Llama. As he picked up the kill onto Whisper. And so he's got his blink, Vanguard, phase boots. He is pretty stacked. Uh, what can he set up with that blink dagger though? It'll pretty much be Shad's agony, I guess. I'm like hoping to create this situation there. He just melts. I, I, I don't know. Like it, it, it feels like it's gotten oh, so nice. out of Ice control blast? really quickly. I, I mean, press the attack, it's gone, and now they get the duel on him. This is Trent. It has gone poorly for it's, it's the hustle. Not going well. No, no. It's uh, it is a tough time. Seb is just up here with his shard as well, so Trant is online. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I mean, Whisper has 46 damage, and that feels like a really important, like, minimized amount compared to what it could be. Well, it might be a bit more here in a moment. I'm gonna wait 26 seconds. <laughs> just I wish take your time. <laughs> If it yeah, wasn't the, the Bristol, thing, you know. The biggest thing holding them back is cooldowns right now, it feels like. Yeah, they don't even have a lot of those, that's for sure. I mean, Ari, has he RP'd? Uh, I think we'll find him again. Invoker, gonna drop. It happens so quickly. Snap is just next again. It's on lockdown right now. BZM jumps in, misses on the ulti, but rather on the... Uh, are you good? Is he gonna get out of there? He's a still I, trying I, to escape. I don't remember the right words. It's time to have soft oh, get away. And now the duel is there. So he's just ready for it. Why not? BZM looks for more. Tries to run him down, but the stampede will get him out of trouble. That was an insane pressing. Uh, oh my god. Bottom tower is under attack. So much damage when they're stacked up like that. Shad now being spotted here. Again, it's just like the invoker. You just see him for a second and then they gone. Oh, wait, hold. Nope. RP onto three and they show up with Whisper. Absolutely decimated. Like, those are supposed to be two big tanky heroes and it's just not happening. They do not connect on the remnant. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's chasing. Oh. The clarity. <laughs> the clarity comes after him. A poisoned mana potion. Taking you down. Yeah, man. 
Um, I don't know. It's pretty rough. It's been a long time since something good has happened for the Hustlers. What if they get Spy from TF2 on their team right now and he saps their items so they can't use them? You know? I don't know. Now, don't ideally, know you probably don't want to take care of their sentries because, you know, typically it's, you know, Spy sapped my sentry. But I'm thinking more like their blink daggers because they're a problem mm. right now. You see? Chad, good TP. What I'm saying is, un unless they have a character from another game join them, I think they're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, I I can I can agree with that. It's, nothing seems to be good going on for them in Dota right now. No, it has been a tough one. And there's no Dyer's blue shells here in Dota. You know, you, you can't just chuck it out there and and find yourself a free Uragi right. hit somewhere on this map. That would be great though. Oh yeah. Oh, they found Shad again. He's right on a ward. <laughs> Whispers coming. Oh my God, he's <laughs> stacking to for him too. <laughs> He's stacking for him also. Holy moly. And now another fight. Although they get Ari. Okay. That is what they need. BZM. Trying to take a little bit of retribution here. Seeing if he can kill off. Look off and will be able to find one. Now Yuragi chasing. Seb moves in. Finds him. Rooted. Caught. And going to be killed. Weaver the last need... one left alive. You didn't even need to overgrowth. No. <laughs> I was like, oh, Sedar can't get away. He'll just have overgrow. He just punches them once, and they can just burst him down in that time frame and just reduce the uh, effectiveness of the stampede completely. Jeez. Radiant's top tower is under attack. What, what is Stoic Everywhere you here? Middle tower oh, Stoic. He's attack. just about to die. It, it's, he's going to dig. <laughs> it's all you can do is dig in moments like that. Oh, oh, Weaver? Weaver? Except not see him. Oh, wait. Yeah, they see him. It is impossible to weave a fate on Nine zero nine. Um, if they want, they can head on in to take down the, the Tormentor, or take it away from the Hustlers if they feel so inclined. Wisdom runes are about to be back up mid lane. Can they find anybody with Whisper? Still has a DD Dyer's good to go, but they spot him on this ward. This actually could be a, a setup. No, hustlers can't go for it. Do you know what pleases me greatly is the no battle fury. Oh that's yeah, nice. That's, that's good. No battle fury, my king. Yes, please. Oh man, remember how bad his game started? Those three deaths. Oh yeah. And yet, he, I guess it didn't really start that bad considering his farm. And the fact they were immediately able to punish Shad almost equally in the top lane. Whisper DD. Oh my God. They got him. Oh, oh so close. And that that gets him to dodge the ice blast. And he just walks away. Oh, they're, they're sweeping was, in behind under smoke. That was a 1v5 moment. Shad gets Aghanim. Stoke's digging again, and they're right there. No. No. He just wants to get away. It's not going to happen. They find the Invoker, too. He also is going to go down. Game has fallen off the rails, Trent. It's, yeah. I mean, this Magnus is just buying a Midas anyway because his game's so free. Just absolutely securing late game. What what a start to this match from Ari, buddy. Just oh, yeah. totally controlled this whole map for them. And now it's been your oh too. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> he just face checked Bristol Axe. And, like, it did no damage. Did not care even a little bit. And into Roche, they're going to go. I mean, oh, whisper. whisper. Look at these wards. Look at these wards behind yeah. the towers. What is yeah. that? What is oh, that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Good duels. Will it matter? Nope. That's More impressive. dual damage. Jeez. Feels bad. He has died 13 times on AA. That's a rough one. That's, yeah. <laughs> not much more to say that. Oh, not again. The Vilama, no! That was just being a nuisance. Dyer's I mean, he wanted to get BZM in closer. Attack. Meanwhile, bottom. They're getting set up here. Ice Blast. Not quite going to connect. They have dual backup and eight. 
Kuragi jumps in, finds one, time lapse, looking for more. Yule Scepter lift up. Can they kill him off in time? And will not get the cold feet prop. Okay. And now the move forward. This would be good. Oh, the turn! He does it! They will lose Whisper, but Yuragi standing tall. Press the attack into the Boundless Strike, and now BKB hits him a couple of times, dodges some damage, and a double kill for Yuragi. Well, there are more heroes to be taken down soon, as Chiji is called. They have had enough. What an unbelievably destructive game from OG. That was some OG classic right there. That's back when, you know, just diving behind Tier 1s and then Tier 2s. Feeling like uh, the aggression just never ends, and yet at the same time, you're seeing them.